What's up, everybody? How you doing? Do 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 Howdy, Vicken. Hey, Dark. How you doing? Uh, let's put this here. Here. And there we go. Sorry, guys, I was just setting some stuff up. Elise, how you doing? Saint, Cookie, what's up? Stal, Aras, KG, KJ, Decca, watching every one of Mr. Holton's streams are hard because they're at four in the morning, but they're so amazing. <laughs> are they though? Thank you, appreciate it. Silencer, how you doing? Hey, cat. How you doing, Dark Knight? Noswolf, evening, sir. Greetings, Archangel. Peter. Always a great way to start the work day. Hey! Working, eh? <laughs> it's been tough some time ago. I enjoy your Mass Effect videos, fam. Made me a fan forever. Appreciate it, Dante. Dante. Badass. Which mission are you on? Uh, we're basically right at the start. We haven't really gotten through the... Um, uh... The, I think we've just finished the ritual in Dragon Age Origins, where you become a Grey Warden. Of all the massive games, which one is your favorite? I always say all three of them because I count them as one game. Uh, seems like you're doing a lot of live streams lately. Yeah, Garrus, Vicarian. Uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, normally. Um, those are my regular days now, so... Every now and again, I might stream even more, and some days I might take off, but usually it's Monday, uh, Wednesday, and Friday. Hey, Vadim. How's everyone's day going? Yeah, how is everyone's day going? How you guys doing? Aquamarine. Richard. JX. Brian. Hi. Stal. The hint Hinterlands? No, this is uh, Origins. Not Inquisition, so we're playing the first. Glad it's 4 a.m. for someone else <laughs> too, lol. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should probably... As, our, as soon as I start making $100,000 per month, I'm probably going to move to the U.S. Fortunately, you know... <laughs> we're going to have to deal with the time difference for now. Uh, started playing Dragon Age again because of you. Ooh! Started on my usual human male noble origin story and out to get revenge. Damn how. God damn how. He's such an ass. Hey, Livy, you. How you doing? Is it a good it's a good day for streaming? I guess, you know, it's a it's a chill day. Nothing much is happening. I finished my my little video today. The funny thing is uh I just got the idea yesterday actually. <laughs> a lot of my theory videos just come, you know, come out of nowhere. But that was also because of, because of Stillian, the guy I mentioned in the video, he was the one who said, you know, that he saw this at the end of Mass Effect 3, so I was like, oh, that's a good point. It's hard to really pick, so I ask another question. Who is your favorite duo to play along with? Do, do, do. I would say Garrus, but that's like a cop-out. So I would say definitely a Krogan, and then my romance interest for that playthrough. So uh, Rex and Liara in the first game, and then... Uh, either Liara or Tally and Grunt. 
uh, that's usually what I go with. I usually like to experiment. I also love using ED. I've played it so many times that I, I basically use most characters evenly. So I don't really know. I don't really have a favorite because they've, they've all got so much great banter. Deja, how you doing? Richard, can't recommend that. Recommend you, you mean moving to U the US? Well, if I ever get rich, of course I'm going to do that because why not? <laughs> It's the land of the rich. Nah, no, it's not. But uh, as soon as you start, like, if you ever get rich in Sweden, uh, you're going to pay an absurd amount of tax money. So, yeah, it's not a good idea to live in Sweden if you ever start getting rich, uh, because most rich people actually move away from here because of the tax. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to stay here, though. Uh, or you could move to, a, to the cheapest country and be even more rich. Hmm, I wonder what that would be. Uh, Dante, also my day is pretty good. It's a blessing to be alive every second of the day. Currently been sick since sun Sunday. Oh, I feel ya. What is it, COVID? I've watched your new Mass Effect Theories videos and it was quite interesting. You could always say it's interesting. <laughs> They're just fun to play around with, you know. I am not a, at all expecting something like that because that's, you know, that's uh, that's a stretch. If they actually added that uh, snow at the ending, uh, it's probably just ashes. But you never know. You know, it's fun to talk about. Um, can't wait to fall asleep during midday and wake up confused and sweaty at night. Oof. Say what? That's not good. Me, of course, Commander. Yes, Javik. <laughs> George, just a little off-topic question. Have you been cooking something yummy lately? I uh, I made tacos yesterday. Swedish tacos. It's not the same. <laughs> um, love interest plus grunt. Happy loving family. Hell yeah. Uh, Chin, what's up? How you doing, Chip? How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Spectre? <laughs> That's so, Derek. Taxes pay for education and healthcare, though. Yes, very true. But my entire life, I've always kind of felt ripped off from the the, the amount of taxes you pay in Sweden. Uh, I don't know. It's just something about it. You never see where it goes. Uh, and we've had a lot of bad news late the last few years where a lot of... Uh, uh, older people who have, you know, taken their pensions realized that, oh crap, all the taxes I've been paying, uh, a lot of it doesn't even, you know, get uh, repaid to them through the, their pension. Uh, that might be their fault, but that's also kind of, you know, uh, the the responsibility responsibility of our government to make sure that every person understands how to save money appropriately for when you get older and when you live in sweden you think that oh they automatically save that you know for your when, when you when you pay your taxes but that's not really true to that point i don't really know how deep that goes but a lot of people are very distrustful of you know taxes in sweden unfortunately it's just how it is doesn't help that a lot of you know the people a lot of the people over on the tax government is we they don't really know what you know what they're doing i've talked to a few people already and they don't even know what their rules are for you know content creation and youtube and stuff so a lot of them just don't know what's going on so i guess you know it's a it's not as uh, orderly here as people would think uh fish tacos nah it's not fish tacos it's just general what even does a taco normally contain? Isn't it, it, it it's, it's going to be minced meat, right? Because that's what it is in Sweden. I don't really know. My day is going good. I'm making tacos. Hey, cat. <laughs> How do you feel about a Mass Effect TV series like The Last of Us? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably uh, up for grabs next. Or something that at least somebody, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that's probably going to, uh, of course, it's going to be uh, Amazon that makes the uh, the TV show. So, yeah, I would love that, but uh, I think they should set it around a time period where people get introduced to Mass Effect. 
like the uh, as I mentioned before, the first contact war would be like the perfect uh, setting to make a TV show. And then just go from there. So basically, there's a progressive tax that basically sets up a hard cap on how much money you can get, no matter how much you earn. Uh, no. No, not really like that. Uh, it's more like the, the more you earn, the more taxes you pay. I don't know if that's the, the situation everywhere. I don't know if it's just because our tax brackets are generally higher. But it's when you get over like, uh, I think it's ab about $50,000 a year or 55000 Thankfully, I haven't reached that yet. Or well, you could also say it's unfortunate. I haven't at all reached that point. But whenever you reach like, uh, which that's something like 500,000 crones, which is about $50,000 uh, a year. If you get to that point, you suddenly have to pay a uh, an additional tax. I don't remember what it's called, but it's essentially 20% extra. <laughs> so aside from like the 40% that you're already paying, which is taxes plus, you know, other fees, suddenly you're supposed to pay 20% pay more. So essentially what you get after, you know, after that point is like 35% of what you make. And uh, I think that's pretty low. Uh, the people from ABBA used to complain about that too. I, I, f I feel like most people complain about that. Uh, it's just, you know, Swedish is, uh, Sweden is a pretty small country. You don't really hear that much about it outside of Sweden. But there's a lot of angry people here about, you know, that feel feel very, very uh, passionately about <laughs> our tax regulation and our rules. Uh, beef in common is common in tacos here. Uh, the, okay, that's basically the same thing we have here. We just go with beef. Minced meat beef. Good evening, taco cat. Good evening. We're talking about tacos here. Uh, welcome. Uh, Richard, tacos in Southern California contain fish and are great. Hmm, I should try that. Never tried fish tacos. Surström in taco. I Nah. Ew. Amazon will ruin a massive activity series like they did with the Rings of Power. You think, Garrus? Hmm. Well, it all kind of depends on who they hire, uh, on who is the showrunner. And then, of course, you know, hopefully it's... I, I would hope that they would just, you know, trade it off to HBO, because as we can see from The Last of Us, I mean, they're doing a good job. Uh... Vadim, it's called a ripoff. That is very much true. It's basically a ripoff. Uh, Elias, please, are we talking taxes? I'm in Argentina. I'm used to unre unre unreasonable takes and no service from our government. Yeah, I don't know what the what the numbers could be over there. I would imagine that would be also pretty high concerning or considering that I've heard a bunch of stuff. Spot Spotify is from there, aren't they? Yeah, Spotify is from Sweden. Like a lot of stuff. Ikea. Ooh. Uh, Christian, how you doing? Aaron, hello there. Hello there. Um, okay, so let's see here. What do we got today? We are gonna play Dragonage the Origins. Uh, and we're gonna get into it soon. In just a moment. Showrunners have been putting their own spins on existing IPs. They, if they follow the script for the popular game, they would theoretically be successful. It really is a shame. Yeah, from as far as I can see, when, when like studios and Hollywood and whatever, what like when they start following the source material almost to a T, usually that means that the thing they're making is overall much better uh i don't understand why everybody keeps trying to put their own spin on it when because you see i i know the sentiment that oh uh, you want to you know you want to mix things up and not make the same thing why would you want to see the same thing just on a 
just just an ad adaptation that doesn't make sense it does make sense because if you follow what the source material is from the beginning you're gonna have a surefire success sort of uh or almost a guaranteed success because you have the fans behind you right the fans that love your franchise and your fans that you know the fans are what make the franchise so huge in the first place so you know first of all you have a basically a uh an audience already that helps pushes the numbers for for viewership uh all the reviews from all the fans are great because you follow the source material you have great production value you have a great script which basically follows most of the game <laughs> and you're introducing it to a whole new audience that have never played the games so it's not just like you know oh you're just showing uh the same stuff for the same people no you're you're introducing it to other people that don't even play video games uh so essentially you're just remaking it but for a tv show or a movie and as long as you you know you follow the general outline really well it's just you know it solves itself uh, and of course you know i can understand that some people don't want to watch the same thing but most people do want to watch the same thing that they've already played through uh hey our thing how you doing hey yo brother hey zach how you doing uh kj decca all i know about australian taxes is that you have to make a certain amount to start getting taxed off your pay and if it's below that number you're tax free but i guess that's everywhere uh ooh. that's not the case in sweden you're never real like the only time that you're free from paying taxes is if you're below two thousand dollars a year from uh, from a hobby so if you have like a hobby like you know YouTube and you just make maybe two thousand dollars a year you don't have to pay taxes on that but as soon as you go over that you need to pay at least 30 to 40 percent in taxes uh Vadim thank you for Ikea <laughs> oh well you're welcome I created it so of course I'm Dragon Age Origins, let's go. In a, in a moment, man. In a moment. Meow, meow. I didn't ask you before. What type of playthrough are you doing? I'm really just um, replaying it because I haven't played uh, Dragon Age in, well, over 10 years. I did last time now, uh, but uh, yeah, that was just the first episode. Are you going to play Atomic Heart when it releases? I don't really know what Atomic Heart is. I haven't really checked it out. Uh, I've seen the trailer. It seemed a little weirdly erotic. But I haven't really read into what it is. Uh, Chen, just on Reddit on the Mass Effect page, there's a fan cast of every single character, and I think they nailed it. I can link it to you if you want. Yeah, um, try linking it here. Uh, cookie. I think they put their own spin on it because they think they're improving it, which is rarely, if ever, the case. Dracula, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's very true. It's usually because they want to, uh, they want to, you know, they think they can do better or they think they think they can improve it. They want to get like a uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe a prize for writing a script. <laughs> it's it's unfortunate. Uh, I was joking, you know. Oh, OK, Deja. OK. Okay, we're joking. We're, we're gonna start soon, though, for everyone else. Um, let's see. Just saw on Reddit. Let, uh, it's, I'll see if I can find the thing. Reddit. Mice effect. Let's check it out. Um, Yesterday, I got my Dragon Age Origins save corrupted on my Xbox 360. Rip. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
that's no fun. Uh, thoughts on Dragon Age Absolution? I kind of liked it. Unfortunately, I still haven't watched the last episode, so no spoilers. Uh, I linked it in here. Okay, that's weird. Can't see it. Uh, might be the bot that deleted it, but I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna go there and check out. Oh, there, I can see. Right, there it is. Uh, I, I can see. I, I see. I see. There we go. Hope you guys can see as well. This one I kind of started laughing at earlier. <laughs> no, stay with me. Don't leave me. <laughs> they, these are all the OG fans. Uh, if Shepard and the squad does not return. <laughs> Oh boy, um, hot take, Mass Effect 3 is actually my favorite franchise and I like the ending a lot. Okay, uh, fun, fun, funny that you search Mass Effect on Reddit, everything is just Rule 34 communities, Mass Erect, Ass Effect, yeah, horny people. My Mass Effect fan cast, cool, let's check it out. Henry Cavill as Shepard, okay, yeah, I'm I'm on that, I'm, uh, on, I'm on board, I'm on board. Uh, whoever this is, Ruby Rose. Hmm. Yeah, I could see that. I don't really know what she sounds like, though. That's very important that she sounds like Jack. Uh, Haley Atwell. Hmm. So you're telling me Agent Carter or alternative Captain America as Ashley. I could see that. I would probably like Ashley more if that was the case. Uh, Jeremy Irons is Saren Arterius. That I can see. His voice is very similar. For sure. I mean, he played Scar. <laughs> and Albert. Or Alfred. Sorry, not Albert. Alfred in, uh, in the, the recent Batman movies. Um, with Ben Affleck. But his role as Scar is absolutely amazing. I could definitely see him play Saren, but just because of his voice. Uh, Tyler Hoechlin as Aiden Alenko. Yeah, fine. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, they look similar. This fan cast is mostly because they look similar. I could see it though. I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Sophia Butella as Tali Zora. I think she kind of sounds a little bit like her even. Yeah, that could work. I really like this fan cast. This is actually pretty good. Now, the problem is that these are basically all A-list actors. So, uh... <laughs> it would be hell of an expensive show if they actually hired these. Especially, I mean, uh, Alfred... Um, Jeremy Irons would be super expensive. Uh, probably Haley as well, because she's working with Marvel. Uh, Henry would probably be super expensive as well, but I think he likes Mass Effect a lot, so I don't think he would be as strict about it. Tyler, probably as well. Yeah, he also played Superman recently, so hey, that would be cool, two Superman. Um, Jesus Christ, I missed it. Vadim with the five gifted main. Sheila, Lucas, Otto, Lucas again, sorry. <laughs> Anakin and Solitude Guard. Welcome to the Ensvan Squad and Vadim, appreciate it. Much love to you for the five gifted. You're amazing. <laughs> uh, no spoilers, guys. Just watch the last 10 minutes and you're good to go. Okay, I'll check it out. I need to check it out because Dan actually, he wanted to talk about, <laughs> Big Dan that is, he wanted to talk about the ending. And I was like, ah, da 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 da. <laughs> um, Arcane Castlevania and House of Dragon was made great and fans like it. Golden Globe Awards 2023, House of Dragon wins the best drama. Yeah, Rick, I loved House of Dragon. The thing is, I was not expecting, uh, you know, HBO or basically anyone to ever, you know, be able to live up to Game of Thrones. Of course, it's the same universe. So, I mean, but but after what happened at the at the end there season, what was it? Eight, 
seven? I don't remember how many seasons Game of Thrones had, but yeah, that uh, final season, oof, 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 oof. <laughs> there were good moments, but then, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, ugh. Uh, so I didn't think that, you know, would happen, that they'd pull it off. But House of Dragon was probably as good as the first or the second season of, of Game of Thrones. Uh, hell no, not Ruby Rose. Okay, okay, horse. <laughs> Why not Femship? Why not? I mean, the one I would cast as Femship if I had the money for it. Guys, if everybody becomes a member on my channel, I think I could hire the cast myself. <laughs> Imagine 40,000 members on this channel. I, I, I could probably, literally, hire every single person that I want for a Mass Effect TV show. Uh, like a fan cast. Probably not every actor. They, they're uh, like they need at least a few million dollars. So, yeah, but but, you know, in time, who knows, maybe. Uh, but yeah, as, as Femship, I would take, um, what's her name again? I've said her, said her name several times. Uh, Emily Blunt. Man, I love her. She would be awesome. She would be really cool. Lol Ball. Look at that with the hundred crones, my guy. Appreciate it. Or ten bucks. Eleven bucks. Something. Appreciate it, man. Much love. Uh, I wish Ashley should be, uh, African-American. Yeah, that, the interesting thing is Ashley is actually, she is African-American. Uh, the person who plays Ashley, I don't remember her name. Uh, Anthony Daniels as Tally. Who is Anthony Daniels? Anthony Daniels. Nah. <laughs> Better have a lot of money. Yeah. Only concern for me would be how the aliens end up looking at the final, in the final product. Turians especially. Yeah, they really need to, uh, to pull off the CGI. And that needs a huge budget for sure. Uh, <laughs> Vadim, I'm kind of tired of Cavill, don't kill me please. I mean, I feel, yeah, a lot of people f probably feel the same way. I still like the guy, but uh, after all this drama that's been going on uh, with him, uh, I'm kind of, you know, eh. I'm not tired of him, but uh, but I can see why he would be. Dono, uh, Donon Eichi. I think they should make the series about the First Contact War. It has enough freedom for the creators to play around with the cast and the story a bit. Yeah, for sure. We're on the same page, man. Um, wow, that tally choice is dope. For sure. I, I don't even know really. Like, I know she was in the Gentleman movie, whatever that's called. Um, so she's pretty cool. She's pretty scary. Mass Effect choke confirmed. <gasps> it basically is. They mentioned it in an uh, article, um, some time ago. So it's, it's basically confirmed. They're working on it, but I think it's like somewhere in the, at, at the end of the queue. Honestly, I'm looking forward to interacting with more female aliens, female Turians and Krogan, especially. That would be nice. Or, well, we're probably gonna for the next game, for sure. We need a lot of variety, you know. Uh, Henry Cavill would keep them honest, considering his reaction to people not being true to this source material for The Witcher. Yeah, that's a good thing with hiring Henry. Would be like, you know, <laughs> him being on them constantly. Hey, don't you dare. Don't you dare avert from the source material. material. So, yeah. Uh, meow, meow. Hopefully, if they make an Emmy show, they don't feature Shepard. Would you agree? Um... Sort of, I mean, it depends really how how well they could write the script. But at first, I would not like them to explore Shepard. I would like them to go to the first contact war first. Because if you're going to introduce it uh, to a whole new audience for TV, then you definitely need to make sure that you, uh, you sort of build a ground for what the universe is. And I think the first contact war could be really cool. It doesn't even need to be a long season because the war didn't really last that long. Uh, hell, it could even dive into some of the elusive mass origins like we see in uh, uh, Mass Effect Evolution. That would be really cool. Um, lol, bol, lol boy. Most of you have I appreciate Okay, man, I, 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 I take care. Tack för de hundra kronorna. Eh, 
Darth Day Daynese. Henry Cavill is Shepard. Fam Shep doesn't exist. <laughs> Oof, that's a hot take. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Drica, how you doing? Richard, Emily Blunt would be cool. She would, would she? Henry would probably want a hundred dollars for his role in Mass Effect. At least a hundred bucks. Someone's gonna get mad their love interest isn't in the Mass Effect series. I mean, I would be fine with it if it's just not placed during the same timeline as uh, as Shepard. For this at the start, but yeah, I, I yeah, that's probably gonna be that's definitely gonna be a problem. Um, and I'm in the shoes; they're not gonna be a male and female. You mean like they're gonna be like siblings? That would be cool. Uh, when you can have both shepherds, exactly, both of them, siblings. I like that idea. And in House of Dragon, were made changes from the book, but were made in good taste. Yeah, I, I, I think I heard that there were some changes to it, but it was all, you know, for the better. Uh, what would be the canon romance option? Probably Liara, to be completely honest. Uh, Anthony Daniels played C-3PO. Oh god. <laughs> His voice as Tally would make me laugh too hard. Uh, Matt, how many times you complete the Legendary Edition? Uh, I, I haven't really been counting. I think maybe 10 times, probably. Uh, Vadim Orlov, pretty please end every conversation with I should go if you make a show. <laughs> I would make sure that... Ev yeah, I would make sure that happens if, <laughs> if I would ever make a TV show. Imagine Byer handing me the reins of a Mass Effect TV show. Ooh! <laughs> um, that's never gonna happen. I would need to be a billionaire for that to happen. Uh, seeing Henry as Shepard would be absolutely amazing, especially after seeing his Geralt. Yeah, I think he could do a really good job. Uh, question is, you know. How good of a job could he do to make sure that most fans actually uh, see eye to eye to the choice of playing Shepard? Uh, Peter Brady. Welcome to the Ensven squad, man. Appreciate it. Much uh, love and uh, thank you for the support. Welcome. Enjoy those, uh, you know, little emotes. I have a few emotes that are supposed to be incoming today, but... They were supposedly a little late, so we're going to have to wait for a little while. Uh, I'm just going to check if uh, if they're done yet, because I might be able to upload them before the stream ends, then. Maybe not. Oh, no, they're still late. Oh, God. <clears throat> Uh, Adri, I, I'd want to see a show about when humanity found the Prothean data cache on Mars. Ooh, yeah, the origin from the get-go, like the complete origin. Ah, yeah, absolutely. And then it leads into the first contact war. Yeah. Yvonne Strahovski as Miranda Lawson. Yeah, that's a no-brainer for sure. She should, she should definitely be able to play her still. Uh... Chin hyper, there won't be a male and female shepherd in one she she in one she <laughs> Shepherd and Rumple still skin happy ending. Linne She's watching uh Once Upon a Time. Uh doing the first contact war and having Shepherd wouldn't work. He she was born April 11, 2154. Uh, oh no, that's not that's not what I meant. I meant like they start with the first contact war and they uh, have some protagonists like, you know, Admiral Hackett, maybe Anderson when they were young. Uh, Shepard can come later in later seasons, but I think they should stick to the origins first just to get some groundwork done. So so new people to the franchise, like, you know, get used to the whole, oh, oh, I, I see what this is, you know. 
Uh, they could do a Skillion Blitz with a War Hero Shepherd. They could. That's a good story. Uh, Ali Hillis is Liara all the way. For sure. Always Ali Hillis. They just need to, you know, put blue makeup on her and you have your Liara. Um, hey, Ivan. How you doing? Ivan. Sorry. Welcome. My bad. I'm driving and typing. <laughs> Don't drive and type, Chin. Don't drive and type. D type and drive. Would be cool to see Shepard's dad fighting in the first contact war and then retiring to race Shepard. Yeah, seeing Shepard's parents would be awesome. And then you just, uh, you know. And then you, no, you, you know, you hear them mentioning their son or daughter or whatever. Uh, but uh, we don't see him or her at the first. That would be awesome. Uh, let's see here. I gotta start with the, 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 the Dragon Age, uh, Dragon Age uh, stuff. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it like this. And I'm gonna change the member goal to six because we're up at six. That's amazing. That's amazing, guys. We're already at six. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, Origin. Let's, let's play some, uh, some Origins. Mass Effect community sleeping on Caden. He's a really good lover, bro. I think Caden uh, is actually pretty appreciated by a lot of people. It's just that Garrus and Liara takes... No, Garrus, Liara, and Tally takes mostly center place. <laughs> Doesn't mean that Caden is bad. Drika, I am playing DAO again because of you. Because of me. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> oh. La 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 la. Uh, do let me know if you guys feel like the volume is too low. I'm just going to take my little thing and make it smaller. There we go. Da da da. KJ, such a cliche to have a hero with dead parents. Always choose chose their path where Shepard's mother was still alive with that call from her in ME3. Yeah, me too. I love talking with Shepard's mother. Shepard's mama. Is the Inquisition helmet in the thumbnail on purpose or just out of con co convenience? Yeah, it's it's basically it, it is on purpose. Uh, but I couldn't find a, a better helmet, so it's also kind of convenient because there are no real helmets you could like, you know, Photoshop into the image. It's like ah, I could just go with the Inquis uh, Inquisition helmet, Inquisitor helmet. By the way, guys, this is a chill stream. I'm not going to panic through the whole thing. I want to experience Dragon Age Origins as it should be experienced. Taking your time. You found a corpse near the entrance to the Korkari Wilds. A letter on the corpse detailed a path through the wilds that should lead to the place where the deceased is meant to meet his father. Consult the note a letter to Jogby for more information. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, wait a moment. What's happening here? Ostagar, Tower of Ishal. Let's go do that. Is 
It's an awesome thing. I love this game. No, Hell no, yeah, Drika. All right, all right. Why you mad though, Chad? I'm just telling you to open a box. But he's too stupid. He can't do it. <laughs> Wait, you can't go through? Invisible wall, guys. It's invisible. <laughs> uh, do you have any kind of speculation about what kind of protagonist we are going to play as in Mass Effect 4? Like one of the older characters, a completely new one. Uh, I think it's going to definitely be somewhat of a younger individual, I would assume. If it's not Shepard and if it's not Ryder. Oh, cutscene. Arf, arf, arf. Is that a striped dog? The plan will work, your majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Really? But the blight has been, you know, existed for how no, who knows many how many years. Oh, they're so scary. I love it. Chicken. It has begun. It's the Lord of the Rings moment. Oh! Archers! Archers! Ooh, blood everywhere. Oh boy. Hounds! Poor doggies. Aww. For Ferelden! Yarg. Poor Shepherd. Charge! Boom. Look at my big Let's nose. The and get to the They're so cute. Hey, Adam. <laughs> Audio is fine, it seems. Nice. That's good. Yeah, so the next protagonist, the next Mass Effect, if it's not Shepard or Ryder, it would probably be someone relatively young. And I would imagine that if that's the case, that it's not Shepard and or Ryder, then the N7 has to sort of mean, I would assume, that it's somebody who's just got recruited into the N7 program. And, you know, I think Shepard... Having some role, I don't know how, in handing the torch to this new protagonist, I think would be the way to go. And I think that would most likely be the case. Because that is usually the case when you, you know, bring new protagonists to new trilogies and whatnot. You hand the torch over. Uh, and I think most people would like that as well, if, that, if they could do it well. 
Two Towers vibe here. Yeah. Someone call in John Wick. Where's John? We need him. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, that looks pretty cool, though. I like it. Um, I sort of want to try playing with a bow and arrow, though. That might be fun. Um, do I even have... Let's see here. I'm just going to invest in some points because I really want to try playing with uh, bow and arrow. Ash, ash, ash. Ooh. Elm. Fire bolt, fire arrow. Oh, so I can actually. Oh, I can switch between them, of course. Enchanted dagger. Dagger. There we go. Yeah! I've forgotten about that completely. Cool. Micah, help us. The you Micah, help us. Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. Oh, boy. Friendly fire. Oh, that's only if you're a mage. Thankfully, I'm not. Chad Aimer? Yay. Ooh. Kill it. Oh, I, I, I thought that thing died. Guess not. Ah! Oh god! Oh! Oh! Oh, you press over there. Cool. Yarg! Kill it! Jesus Christ, Chad, don't be such an ass! Phew. 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 Origins, the best story amongst the Dragon Age series. Yeah. As far as I can remember, it does have the best story. <laughs> it's been some time, though. Wait, this is the tower, right? Oh, I need to go around here. Got it. Click. Miss before real. Let's have at it. Cut them down without any chance to. Okay, critical hit. Crap. Uh, cannot level up right now. You for real? You for real, bro? You for real? I have a feeling I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that a lot this playthrough. You for real? Pew. Miss, really? Pew. 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 
too. God damn it. Hawkeye, hell yeah. All right, all right. Let's take this guy's armor. Soul rot coating. I wanted his armor. Okay, level up. Ooh, strength. Constitution, strength. Next. Strength, constitution, boom. Precise strike. Yay, gameplay! <laughs> yeah, Dylan. Have you played High on Life? No, I saw some scenes from it. And I think I saw the trailer. And it just looked like, I don't know. Um... I've never been a huge fan of Rick and Morty type of stuff, and I was like, eh. And then I realized that Jennifer Hale was in it, but I don't know how big her role is. Oh, Cat V. Uh, DPS is better with dagger and sword. Both are not very good in this game. Ah! Oh! Why didn't I read that before? The mistake of the week. Wait, what? Trap triggered? Yo, for real, brah? Ow. Pew. 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 I can't wait to reach a higher level. Pew. 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 Oh boy, my folks are dying. That ain't good. Oh no, my little doggy. Am I dying? I think I'm dying. <gasps> I died. I'm gonna call Bioware, say I'm angry. Her role is kind of small. Oh, okay. It's a good thing you load directly up here. Wait, I can't. Can I click the thing? Oh, I can't. Which is better, <laughs> Mass Effect or Dragon Age Origins? Uh, you probably already know the answer to that, but, uh, I mean, I like them both, but I haven't played enough Dragon Age Origins yet this year to give a good opinion. Switch. No, my doggy. Die. Is it my armor? Maybe I need to put up some some better stuff. Let's see here. Character. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. 
Origins has the most fleshed out character origins, I think, and the best dialogue. Probably has good old Bioware days. I started my Bioware journey this time the, uh, last year and Dragon Age is my fave, but I started with Mass Effect. Hmm, interesting. So you prefer Dragon Age. Circle ma Mage. Oh, it's just the Circle Mage. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice tip. Thank you. Oh, God. Looks like they started skinning folks. That's not nice. Got it. Do, 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 do. Oh, boy. Do, 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 do. Now is better than later. How dare you? Ow. Ow. What? Guys, can you help me? Let's go. Is he down again? Ah! Where did he? Mm hmm. Delirium potion. Oh boy. I'm almost full. Die already. <laughs> what a good suggestion. Um. Love the mod that you keep uh, Hound and Team without taking a slot. Is there a mod for that? That's cool. I prefer fantasy, but I made the exception for Mass Effect. Well, Mass Effect is sort of a little bit like fantasy. Half and half, basically. Mostly, it's kind of hard sci-fi. I think it's a good hybrid. Boxes, guys. You see all these boxes here? I'll get on it. Quartz. I wonder, though, I, I kind of have too many things on me okay that's do 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 chain mail boots okay already has better templar shield small shield dark spawn battle axe Went to six dexterity to use that dagger. Okay. The best tactic is to gang up on each enemy one at a time. Very true. I'm just so used to slaughtering things by myself. <laughs> I usually let my squad rest. Go! Oof, 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 oof. Now is better than later. Oop. Do, 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 do. Make his breath. What are these dark spots? Final Fantasy 4, 14 war? fan? Oh there yeah. Supposed to be any I love Final Fantasy 14. One of the best games I played last year, actually. Um uh, Hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's look around a little bit first. Elfruit. That's okay. <gasps> Insufficient skill. Mass Effect is a power fantasy. I mean, you're Shepard. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Uba. No, no. Get over here. Blow the belt. Splat. Owned. I'm starting to get into this. Actually. Private documents. Private documents. Quest related. Thermaker. You have to try Baldur's Gate 3? Hell yeah. I really want to try it. Uh, never been a fan of the over-the-top thing. Um, you know, with a camera angle, but yeah, I probably gotta try it. Hey, Big Evil! How you doing? And never played Dragon Age until the back end of last year. Played because of Mass Effect. Not being a keyboard and mouse user meant some serious adjustments for me, but a great game overall. Yeah, I, I can uh, understand that. I, I don't think I would ever try to play this on console because I'm so used to having this maneuverability with a camera. But in any case, I, I do think it's worth it, even if. Short bow. It's not good. <gasps> oh no! Oh! Run away! Run away! Oh my god, what are you doing? For sure, Chad. Oh. oh my god. Chad. Hell yeah! I labeled up. Let's uh, level up. A dexterity. And let's just level that shit up. I do really want to keep, you know, building a bit of archery, to be honest, but... Uh, pinning the... Uh, it's not really good that... Uh, what we can do, though, deft hands. That one is very needed. Now we can actually unlock stuff. I'm still confused on how the Rachni Queen got caught by the Reapers in Mass Effect. You mean in 3? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't remember the specifics of how that happened. Logan better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The King is depending on us. 
scale boots. Loved Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, but haven't really been paying much attention to 3. Hmm. I heard a lot of good stuff about Baldur's Gate because, you know, the original one was made by Bioware, right? Cute. Kill that thing. <laughs> what a dork. Hell yeah, fire damage. Look at that. Hell yeah. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Shut up, Chad. Kala, just watch your latest video. Really good find by that commenter. I never noticed the change. Me neither. <laughs> Welcome, by the way. Uh, but yeah, it might just be nothing. You know, I just found it uh, fun to talk about. Ice arrow. Hmm. Oh boy. Come on, guys. Shoot the thing. Oh, boy. Yeah, that fire... Those fire arrows really did a lot. Phew. 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 Probably attack that guy. Boom. Oh, my God. Stop missing, Chad. That's so useless. War paint. Oh, cool. Oh, doggy. Let's release you guys. Let's go, boys. Warden recruit shield. Oh, shit. Borders Gate 3 is pretty good. All right, Brian. Uh, if you fail the boss battle, you gotta restart the game. It's law. Nah, 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 nah. No such challenges here, man. Only scrubby gameplay. Um, I always assumed that Ragnar is susceptible to the Reaper's mind control. Yeah, that's probably why. I remember. I think I remember that now. Never Winter Nights, Jade Empire, and Baldur's Gate series. Yeah, those were the good old days. The good, good old days. Falling Vega. I love the editing on the last Dragon Age video. It was very funny. Appreciate it. I tried my best. I'm still not a comedian, but I, I do try my best to make sure it's as meme as possible. I don't really know, though, if I should edit too much and add too many memes because then I need to cut out a lot of conversations because there is a lot of conversations that might drag the video down Kapu 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 Hurrah Let's kill that one Let's kill this one Ah 
How dare you, little shit. Galistic. Achievement unlocked the Ray Warden? Say what? Slash. Server, I love this game. That's good. Ooh, doggy. Attribute strength. Let's go full on. Super powerful all right, doggo. All right. Can I get you a ladder? So you Bark can get spawn off my is going to be the most powerful dog ever. Can I bribe you to play BG3 with a BG BG3 key? I mean, sure, if you're giving it away, of course. Now it's better than later. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to that. I think a lot of people would like to see that on the channel. Maybe you weren't being serious. Maybe you were just joking. All right, all right. Uh oh my God! I have too many things again. Er, oh. <laughs> Look at that, I'm so dumb. I even had a collector's edition bow and I didn't use it. Ah! What the hell, man? What the hell? Yeah, okay, I kind of need to offload a bunch of stuff. Huh. Not so many, not too many memes, please. Okay, Dylan. Uh, but you have to play it. I should probably do a poll first to see what people think, if that would be fun to see. Would probably be a good idea, though. I know that uh, Jackdaw is probably, as soon as his channel gets up and running again, he's probably going to start covering more of that. So, might be a good time to get on board. Yeah. This is a nice bow. Now it's better than later. As in, it looks pretty cool. Right, come on. Watch in horror as I rip you apart. Like Chad's lines are so. <laughs> Why did I choose violence? We never joke here. This is the most serious and humorless chat on YouTube, for sure. No jokes. Oof. Oof. Oh, it's one of those big brutes. Big brute. Hello. Kill it. I'm gonna go kick it in its nuts. Bam. Bam. Ah. Did you just push me? He pushed me really violently. Hey. Kick him in the nuts. Good job. Hey. Aya, baya. Cha. Kill it. Ooh. Easy. Easy. Get on it. Uh, Aegis, greater health potion, shalabalabalabala. Surely missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's late.
We won! Sound Teabag it? I tried. It didn't work. But what about the king? Should we not... Do as I command. What's he doing? Hey, you ugly bastard. What are you doing? What are... Why... Out! All of you, let's move! What a dick. Hey, Logan, I will murder you. Kick him, him in the nuts. That's low. See what you did there. Dagger cutscene missed. Oh, you could execute him. No, the king! Why are you screaming at him? I had forgotten about that. He killed the king. Dude. Duncan. Yeah, hey. Hell, hey, yeah, we go. Hey, yeah. Hey, kill it. And it's just like, oh, no, my chest. Aya baya. Everything is so red. Everyone's so bloody. Oh. Well, that was useless. Wait, did Duncan die? No! Chad! You're supposed to be unstoppable, you useless sack of chin. Oh look, it's my oh, wife. Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Er, uh, yes, where am I? Back in the wilds, of course. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Uh, I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. What a Those chick. Those he abandoned and... were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Foxhound with the two pounds. Timing my arrival perfectly for Morrigan. I appreciate the two pounds, mate. Uh... Yeah, but he was still on his way to the to the deep roads to die anyway. Still a shame. Timing yeah. my arrival perfectly. For uh. Romantic face. This is horrible. What happened to the Great Wardens? My friend, you mean Alice? I need to get out of here. As you like. Mother is outside with your friend. She wished to see you when you awoke. Thank you for helping me, Morgan. You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Were my injuries severe or Yes, rare? but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. I will go then. I will stay and make something to eat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I will stay and make something to Coffee. eat. Good stuff, Morgan. Oh, poor boy. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much. He worried about my chin. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I'm just gonna change something here. Uh, just a momento, guys. Zubita, zubita. There we go. When will the vote for uh, B BG3 uh, be up? I'll probably upload it tomorrow. Oh no, it crashed. For real? I just had to minimize the game and it crashed. God damn it. I hope it doesn't... Uh... I don't really know how the auto saving is in this game. Wait, you're serious? Oh no. I have to start over here. Okay, I, I, I I'm gonna skip the cutscene. That absolutely sucks. That's super annoying. So they they don't really have a quick save. Except for the biggest encounters I guess. Oh no. I'll get on it. Oh no. No mercy from me. Now it's better than me. I'll get on it. This is why you should go ranged for this fight, I assume. Really? I think I can do it. I can do it. No, no. Ow. Got it. Ow. I died. Uh, screw these uh, ogres. Come on, Alistair. Get, you a get it. So you get off my yeah, I should. Yeah, I should probably make sure that Alistair can use potions. Oh no. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> we're all dying again. Jeez! Why is it suddenly so difficult? Dead. 
Greetings from Ukraine. Hey, Sanya, welcome. Sorry, I might be quick for you. Mother clucker. Close range it is then. God damn it. There we go. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh boy. Lovely. Jeez. By the way. Okay. And skip. Yeah, he got a little difficult. Er, yes, Back where am I? Wilds, uh, you, how does your memory fare? Do you... Uh, 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 those he abandoned were massive. Uh, uh, as you uh, like. Mother is outside with your... Uh, 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 you were welcome. Though mother did most of going the work, to tactics. I am right. no healer. I... There we go. You. You're alive. There. I appreciate oh, the concern. Fancy. La la la. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Dragon lady, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth from the legends, tanked like a champ while Od a doggo Tanith ate his leg. Right. <laughs> Whoops, you're the witch of the wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? If you're Flemeth, you must be really old and powerful. Must I? Age and power are relative. It depends on who is asking. Compared to you, yes, on both counts. Then why didn't you save Duncan? He is... was... our leader. I am sorry for your Duncan, but your grief must come later. In the dark shadows before you take vengeance, as my mother once said. Duty must come now. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? It changed when most of them were slaughtered. If you think small numbers make you helpless, you are already defeated. But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. I really want to make a lore video about the Archdemon. So let's go, what is this Archdemon? It is said that long ago... The Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Then we need to find this archdemon. By ourselves? No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half-dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon, or how to raise an army. 
It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I... I, I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlay had been called, and Al Eamon would never stand for this, surely. Perhaps we could go to him then. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Uh, sounds like an excellent idea. <laughs> Such determination. How intriguing. I still don't know if Al Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. Uh, then there's nothing we can do. No, I can't accept that. We can't just give up. You have more at your disposal than you think. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army. It's funny how he's asking us. As long as there's some profit in it, yeah. If there is better motivation for doing what is right, I have yet to see it. It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Thank you for everything, Flemeth. No, no. Thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. More again. The stew is bubbling, <laughs> Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard me, girl. <laughs> the last time I looked, you had ears. Ha 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 ha. I think it's an excellent idea. Have I no say in this? No. Nope. You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Very well. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I understand and you wardens do you understand i give you that which i value above all in this world i do this because you must succeed hell yeah easy she won't come to harm with us allow me to get my things if you please arf i am at your disposal gray wardens I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Oh, I prefer you speak your mind. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Get over yourself, Elster. If you worry that I will summon demons and transform into an abomination, I assure you I will at least wait until you are not looking. I feel better already. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! 
It is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Whew! Morgan approves plus eight. Alistair approves plus four. The dialogue is, you know, is good, but I do feel like one of the reasons why people don't play this enough is because there is a lot of dialogue to turn through. That's good, but the way, I don't know if it's because maybe it's the graphics, maybe, maybe more people would be more forgiving if, um, if the graphics had been updated, like for a remaster or a remake or whatever. Of, of course they would, but hey. Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. Character can formulate. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Templar Righteous Strike. Warrior. Let's go with that. Oh, okay. Already have that. Weapon and shield. Shield defense. Let's go with this one. But yeah. Nothing wrong with a lot of dialogue, but man. We gotta save the game because it barely has any auto saves. Don't be mean to Alistair. I mean. Oh, quick save. There we go. This tone gives the reader one point to spend on a skill, but is rendered useless. Okay, how do I use it then? Okay, well that's... <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, right. Proved combat training. Warriors and rogues gain access to second tier weapon talents as well as the bonus to stamina regeneration. Sway just about anyone. Let's go! Yes. Flemeth's hut. Lothering. Lothering. Let's go there. This is entirely without mods. The memory leak hasn't been an issue yet. I don't know about any memory leak, but yeah, this is without mods. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you, or anyone. This dude. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Go this guy. The memory issue is mostly problematic when you enter big cities. The game can't use more than 2 Wake GB up, RAM. Gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I okay. guess that fellow is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, 
Maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. Good thing, they are uh... fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. How is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What could I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, Freaking bandits. you still got to pay. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? I have four points into coercion. This should work. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good? Good enough to kill a king? You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king killing ways. This guy. You know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. You don't say. He is really good, boss. Remember. <laughs> well, yes. 20 silvers? That's all we've collected today. Give it. Not enough, I'm afraid. And just when we had things settled. Something. Ah, shit. I pushed my luck. I guess there's only one, like, so much you can do. Alright, we, we surrender. Like with death to make we're, we're just trying to get by not like death before much. the dog spawn get us all. This shoddy operation is pathetic. I could do better. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. <laughs> now you die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you'll follow my lead. I could use some soldiers. Hmm, interesting. I don't remember recruiting this guy. What's early combat looking like? Can't find any. It's more like for for third person based like God of War. Oh, you mean Dreadwolf? It seems like um it is a little bit like uh God of War slash uh Mass Effect 3, like third person over the shoulder like this to the side. Uh more action heavy it seems like, but that's just what the footage provided. If you do end up having a memory leak problem, usually entering and exiting doors and main hubs, there's a good fix for it. I mean, I have a lot of RAM, though, but maybe that's not the problem. Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chests we brought. I swear. Start running. Bless you. The darkspawn can have this place. Hmm. Let's see here. What do we have? I want all the monies. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Longsword iron. We can... We can try it out for Mr. Alistair. Should really, um. It didn't work. Why ain't it working? Oh, it did. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. Swords. 
Great sword, balance, great sword, long sword. Oh, it's even worse. <laughs> Stud it. Oh, Morrigan, you you barely have any stuff on you. Let's put on some leather boots. Studded. Mark of Vigilance, Spell Resistance, Mental Resistance, Surveyor, War Mage. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. What? You have been very quiet, Alistair. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Uh... We... You... Uh, I need to look for Fergus. He was out scouting in the wilds, wasn't he? That's what the king said. Then attempting to look for him there would be foolish. He is either dead or he managed to flee to the north. Very sensitive. I am simply saying that it is foolish to mount a rescue when you have no notion where this man is and the wilds are overrun with Darkspawn. You will either find him somewhere outside the wilds with other survivors or not at all. I'll figure it well, out. We'll need to decide eventually. Let's head into the village when you're ready. Cool. Sure. Oh, so this is the village. Interesting. Um, we should go look for more crates, though. Was there anything else these bandits were hiding? Subidi do, shibbly boo. Ah, uh, she said something. Wow. Okay, that's a bunch. Gain Orzammar's aid, right? That, that's the dwarves, Arl Eamon, Nature of the Beast, Dalish clans, the elves, the Broken Circle, the Magi, Lothring, Rest and Resupply. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. <laughs> Look at his eyes! I crawl into a bush somewhere and uh. die. That would be great, thanks. 
the things I've seen. <laughs> Ah, the tab button. Thank you. Right. This is actually really useful. <laughs> Hello, children, refugee boy. I don't like this place. Why did we come here? I'll get on it. Going for the mages first to get the healer follower. Mmm. Isn't that... If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Jeez, dude. Mm. Now is better than later. Bandits. Griffin with the 2000 age UF. Uh, oh, it's clever. Hey, man. <laughs> I changed my name. I'm neither clever nor Anyway, you're the first channel I ever donated to. Love your content. Appreciate it. Clever. Griff Griffin. Less than three. I will no longer call you Griff uh clever. It's 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 Griffin. Appreciate the love, man. Wait, I can't accept it? Oh yeah, I did. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. You're closed? We turn none aside, but we, we simply don't have room for anyone to sleep. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. Have you heard any news? Not since Tern Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the King. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Goodbye. Make her watch over you. Oh, jeez. Hey, eight men. Eight men. Eight men. T. How you doing? Griffin, thank God you won't have to lie anymore. Cle clever on. anonymous. I mean. I thought that was a good nickname. Griffin is also pretty good. So it sounds cool. Golden Scythe. Gift. Okay. Mother! I need to sell some stuff. Where do I well, do that? Ooh. Look what we have here, men. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Loghain's men. This can't be good. Oopsie daisy. We spend all morning asking about a fellow by this very description. And everyone said they hadn't seen him. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely <gasps> there is no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Looks like he wants to fight. I'm happy to oblige. Right. Let's make this quick. Go. 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 This guy is really swinging. All right, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all blood stop everywhere. Now. Take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? He'll have to do better than this. I'll tell him. Right away, now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Liliana. Everybody loves Liliana.
I appreciate what you tried to do. I am glad you found it in your heart to offer those men mercy. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. I am Chad. A pleasure. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. <laughs> I just love how people just jump over and, you know, want to join. I will need help, that's true. That and the Maker wants me to go with you. Can you elaborate? I, I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. Shepard, is that you? They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Very well. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I Why appreciate is she so given mean? this chance. I will not let you down. Morrigan. Damnation. Liliana. Oh, blast it. <laughs> no, I need you, dude. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, dog, but you can stay at home. Indeed. I'm going to use Liliana. I want the banter. We gotta have some banter. You have high speech, but you never use it. High speech? Oh yeah, I have. Right. True. But I just love fighting. I just, I, I you know, it, it breaks up the, the mon monotony. Ice bolt. <clears throat> what are you doing, ch child kid? We got the girl gang almost soon. Hello there, Allison. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. No. Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Okay. Why don't you buy some? None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Sorry, I can't make traps. I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. Hello. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, what? Lothering's full up with refugees. Might be space in Allison's barn. Speak up. Girl gang, it is literally half and half. Hey! In a moment, we're just gonna, you know, find find some other girl. <laughs> um, Not a refugee. A Grey Warden, are we? Did I mention I'm the Bleeding Queen of Ferelden? I'm no young skirt looking for a tumble. Or some elder you can bully. <laughs> Looks like you can fend for yourself tonight. Too much to do and not enough time. Okay. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. 
If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Thank you. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think there's a merchant at the tavern. Oh! I'll get on it. I'll get on it. Let's go in and check. You hear about food? Take it up with that bleeding run by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Good shit. Party inventory. I don't really know what I need all those things for. <clears throat> the Edge, 26 Dexterity. Ooh, 16 gold, Jesus. Venom. That's at the Chantry as well? Okay. That's a few things. You hear about food? Take it up with that bleeding run by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Two. Old mess of refugees come in and leave near every night. All have hungry bellies, sad tales, and mementos for barter. I sold that bleeding merchant outside about half my larder two weeks back, and now he's charging outrageous sums for all my food. You're jealous you didn't think of that first? Hardly. I may be a cantankerous old coot, but I'm not going to beggar everyone comes by for a loaf of bread. I'll see what I can you do. Will. Odd thing to be doing, but we'd appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> what does he have a. You're here about food. I got other gear to sell. Oh. Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Thanks. I, I might have some ingredients in stock. Really know what you need. Okay, let's see here. Um, to make potion, a uh, poison, not potion, toxin extract. Any luck with that poison? Or you here to see my stock? Toxin, toxin, toxin. Uh, 
Hmm. Maybe this. Any luck with that poison? Or you here to see my stock? No. Don't buy it, spiders outside, drop it. Oh, okay. Did you see the new recruiters out? How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are in it. A chase would never stop to spawn corrupt the earth. Shock oh. busted. But it's him. Start it. Stan. One of my captors. I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. You're a prisoner? I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. The revered mother said he slaughtered an entire family, even the children. It is as she says. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. He looks so different than what the Kunari look like in the future. If you haven't heard of us, that is your own shortcoming. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. <laughs> what happened with my head? I found myself in need of skilled no help. No doubt. What help do you seek? I'm on a quest of great importance. Importance is a matter of perspective. From here, very little seems meaningful. The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? Yes, I am. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. How dare you? Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. To be left here to starve? Or to be taken by the Darkspawn? No For sure, get all the special that. items in Not Lothering now. Murderer. Okay. The Kunari Prisoner. Enough. Wait, what? The Reverend Mother. Oh. Oh, wait a moment. Because with the present engine and tech they had at that time, they weren't able to make horns for him for some reason, but that was the plan from the start. Okay, so that was the idea. Interesting. She's in here, right? The Reverend Mother. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main Sir Donald. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well. He'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? What, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the Urn of Sacred Ashes. 
Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. I should go. Um... Your friend Sir Hendrik is dead. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Is there a reward? A reward? Oh, uh, of course. I hope a sovereign is sufficient. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this map. Hey, Brian, quest. did I miss something crazy? Nah, not really. We uh we got backstabbed by the general or, or whatever his name in is. So every gray warden died basically. Um. Urn of sacred Supposedly, ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Perhaps I could hear. Nothing uh, help I have you. found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Okay. Cool. And when the maker spoke, One gold. Nice. In the Reverend Mother. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. Might I suggest 30 silver? Mm, okay. Thank you, my son. What can I do for you then? It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? I want him freed. I, it might have a use for him. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. I've come to return him to his people. Well, that is convenient. I had no idea the Canari even knew he was here. Here then. Take the key to the Canari's cage and take him away. I pray this is the right path for all our sakes. I do love how all of the Dragon Age Origins uh, blend into the story at some point. You mean... Um... Oh, the different origins. Do they? That's very interesting. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Bronze symbol. All oh, right, gifts to make people like you more. Give her the money. <laughs> Didn't I give her the money? Got it. My condolences, friend, but where's my cash? Yeah, I play the same way in The Witcher 3. I feel like, you know, now that I've, you know, been hunting monsters for several hours, I better get my pay. Yeah, so I never let people go, you know. Oh, but I need this money for my children. Ah, give me that money. I don't care. Give me. That's for Lily. Okay. You wish something more of me. I have the key. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. She agreed to release you to my so custody. Be it. Set me free, and I will follow you against the blight. Nice. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Thank you, Sten. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. What about the child at the bridge? Child? What child? 
What do you mean? Do Lord and damnation. <laughs> I like how they <laughs> get angry and sad when you don't choose them. Blast it. Yes. Vashadan. <laughs> Grr. Yes. I'll probably play around with Sten later. Hmm. Weed out the bandits. What is happening? Oh boy. Guys. What are you doing? Why is everybody over there? Like, guys. Ah! Help! Hey! Oh no. Oh no, it crashed again. Is this the memory leak you guys were talking about? Because that's bad. Let's see, how far back am I again? You want one of my captors? I will not oh, use no. you anymore really? than I have the other humans. Leave me. I'm... I am Sten of the Beres. I suggest you leave me to my fate. No doubt. What else? The Blight. My people have heard legends. Perhaps if you... Really? Are you for real? This is why you always remember to quick save. Oh god, that's so annoying. Are you playing Origins from uh, um, Steam or Origin? <laughs> from Origin. Maybe you need to install the 4 gigabyte memory patch? Probably. That is super annoying. Why would I be crashing? Oh my god. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. Bugs everywhere. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end it for here because I don't, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to replay this on my own just to <laughs> catch up this is super annoying so this is actually kind of game breaking because i don't feel like you know doing the, th the same things over and over again so yeah there that i probably will ha have to install that mod that you guys are mentioning holy crap i never crashed here but in the main town all the time ugh yeah, that's super annoying. I really hate that. Uh, but that's probably like a generational issue. I, I wouldn't say that Bioware's really to fault here. It begins. Yeah, I will have to uh, to install that uh, that mod, but that's gonna you know probably take some time. I wish I could say it could be fixed, but I had a ton of issues for playing too. Yeah, that sucks. I was hoping for this to be like a smooth experience. Hardly pla play, uh, crashed on PS3. Yeah, it's a different... Uh, of course, it, you know, that's an older console. I don't know what that issue could be. Because, you know, my PC is... Like, not the best PC in the world, but it is pretty beefy. So, it's, it's strange. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll be sure to install the, uh, the 4 gigabyte uh, patch or whatever. <laughs> Probably see if I can install some other patches as well, just to make the UI bigger because it's too small. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna be off for today. There was this was a relatively short stream just because it keeps crashing, but I, I can't be our sitting here replaying the same thing over and over again. You guys are probably getting tired of it as well. 
Um, so yeah, see you guys next time. Uh, see you guys on Friday. I will probably do something different, however, on Friday. The next time we play Dragon Age Origins will probably be, probably be sometime next week or during the weekend if you guys want to catch it. Uh, I'll update you on the community tab and on Discord so that you know because, yeah, so you'll know whenever I'm streaming Dragon Age Origin next. But yeah, I need to get this fixed. Thank you guys for being here and uh, have a good one. See you next time. Hugs and kisses, all that good stuff. And thanks for the gifted members.